Hey guys, and welcome to game number 42 of 100 of the Mac vs. Machine series, where I'll be playing 100 games of Scrabble against the top online Scrabble bot, Hastybot. We've been on a, another very good streak here. We're now 29 and 12, and let's see if we can keep things going. So without further ado, game 42 is underway. We'll be first, and not the greatest of all opening racks. W, a lot of vowels, probably going to exchange here. I do have a few plays. I could play something like Wear for 14. EIO, though, is uh, quite foul heavy and not worth it for, for only 14 points. You're much better off just exchanging and not giving anything back to your opponent and trying to induce them to open up some floaters and hopefully draw into a bingo on your next turn. So probably just exchange five here. Definitely want to get rid of the W, a bunch of vowels. You could keep something like E-I-R or A-E-R. I generally prefer keeping one vowel and one consonant, though. I think uh, this is perfectly fine. And, okay, not a great outcome at all. I guess I should have kept a vowel. We draw five consonants out of the bag, and he opens with a bingo of goateed for 72. Yeah, very poor draw on our part. Not really a lot of good options here at all um could do something like breathe for 20. l n n though is an extremely rough leave maybe he yeah, have vernal or verbal i guess one cool thing about verbal is it does hold on to the n n for a possible non-extension next turn if we pick up one of the o's so that would be a nice way to get 42 points. So that's something to consider. I guess, what other options do we have? Elven? 16 keeps BRN. Yeah, that's pretty weak too. I mean, all of our plays are, are pretty weak. Elven is Probably best from an equity standpoint. It's definitely better than Brief. LNN is so bad and inflexible. Like, BRN at least feels a bit more salvageable. LNN, you're going to need to get really lucky to salvage next turn. So, Elven is definitely better than Brief. I'm mostly debating between that and, and Verbal. I mean, the main benefit of Verbal is, once again, saving the ends for possibly the non-extension next turn. It does take an S, so there's some good long-term openness aspect. We're definitely going to need an open board here to try to facilitate a comeback as much as we can. It floats another E, which is good, given we have a constant heavy rack, but so does Elven. Yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, BRN is probably slightly better than NN. Yeah, the question is, I mean, how like how likely are we to draw an O? I guess let's do some quick math. So there's seven O's unseen, 86 unseen tiles. So on any given draw, we're 7 and 86, which is about 1 and 12. So ballpark 7 or 8%. We're getting five draws. So not exact math, but we're going to be around 35, 40% to pick up an O next turn. So it's not bad, but it's not great. I'm not sure which is better for the board more in the long run. Probably Elven. I think it... Because it opens the bottom right really well. The problem with Verbal is if he plays through either of these E's, I feel like the board is going to start getting shut down a bit more quickly. But the nice thing is even if I don't hit the O on this turn, there is that long-term possibility, and that'll be a good way for me to score and also open up some more lines. So this is actually probably better. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and play this. Okay, so he plays Yaoi. No O's for us, unfortunately. And it's not the kind of thing that's going to be worth, like, holding on to two ends for. It's not quite strong enough for, for that. So probably now just playing something here, like Barney maybe? I don't see anything great through this E, and I'd love to leave that open and try to blow open the left side as much as possible. See, so yeah, a Barney, th that scores more than Bran, I think. Yeah, it scores a few more than Bran and also opens a bit more. Floats an A, which is nice for us. 
Do I have anything ending in a B? I don't think so. Nab? No. That keeps too many consonants. Yeah, probably Barney is fine here. Harpy scores more, but B and N is really bad. So unless there's something I'm missing, which I don't think there is, Barney is uh, is probably fine here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so he bingos again with hankies, and uh, we pick up the other V. So things are not going our way, to say the least. Probably now just Pavin? I don't even know. Takes the S for Spavin, which is something to consider. I could do Haven, but EHT is a lot better than PIT, and I need, I need to bingo ASAP. And hopefully score a lot while doing so, and EHT is, is a lot more flexible. So this is probably fine. It does do a good job, too, at opening some more lines, because I'm going to need to bingo at least twice and quickly if I want to somehow pull off this comeback. So I think Pavin is is okay. Do I have any like double doubles through this E? I'm pretty sure not. No, I just have too many. The HPV is just too many consonants together. So yeah, probably just Pavin is fine here. I don't think there's anything uh, through this A. There's Neath, but of course PIV is a horrible leave, so not going to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and play Pavin here. I don't see anything that jumps out as better. Yikes. <laughs> wow, so he plays Bives for 48, and we draw JQXD on a four-tile pool, so I think it's safe to say this is... Uh, this is going to be a loss at this point. I mean, what what do I even do now? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, wow. This could be a blowout. Did I just play Hexad? I mean... Keeping JQT? I guess... I mean, I can't exchange. I'm down too many points. At least it makes another opening. Maybe somebody doesn't block. I can, like... Draw Thuja next turn and then draw a cube and go. I don't even know. But, I mean, I, I can't get rid of my Q. I'm not going to play Cot for like 14. I don't have anything good with the J, I don't think. Hodge doesn't even fit. Oh, I guess there's Jihad. Alright, yeah, I guess that's better. I mean,. Yeah, the X is still a lot better than the J, so I guess I'll just do that and then hope to play. I guess, yeah, if I do that and then play Cot next turn, maybe I have some future, but, I mean, I'm down 160. Like, this is really, really bad. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this is going to be a big-time blowout, guys. Okay, let's, let's just move this along, I think. Uh, probably Quag here for 52. Gonna be hard to do any better than this. Uh, yeah, okay, this is, I mean, I'll leave the J open. Maybe I'll fish for like, I don't know. There aren't a lot of words that have a J in the second spot and are eight letters. I'm fish for like Jalaba or something. D-J-E-L-L-A-B-A. -L -L -A. There's not even a B left. Yeah, I don't know what I could even fish for. But anyway, well, let's see. What do we wanna do here? Just get rid of XI somewhere. I can't even really do that for a lot of points. Huh. Axite. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter here. We're clearly... Maybe just to be fancy, I'll play Ice and set up my X. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Because it sets up my X in two spots. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I could play Kex, I guess, too. I mean, I don't really think it matters. Like, there's... Is there anything I can even fish for from this J reasonably? Probably not. 
I could open another triple triple. Not even sure how. Go for DXs with an Estra. It's just too slow. I mean, I'm down 220. Even if I hit 120 point bingo, like it's not actually gonna even do anything. So yeah, I don't think it really matters. Kex. Yeah, I mean maybe just ice. Yeah, I guess ice. Why not? Let's just let's just have a little fun. Play ice, bomb the X next turn, and then try to bingo. Alright, so he he plays war and yeah, I'll just play X. I have to imagine that's best. And we draw this C, so that'll give us Dicty through this I. At least we'll hopefully be able to cut some spread. Alright, uh, so he plays who, and let's see, I guess I'll, might, might as well open something here, why don't I play Flam, just give him a little bit of something to think about, I don't have much to lose at this point. Oh, he leaves it open, okay, well now I'm definitely going to fish for, for something, I mean if I play off a U, is there anything I can actually get through that M though if I fish off a U, I can get jointure from the J which would be nice. It's actually worth, because against the human, I'd be completely lost. But against the bot, since I know he might not block, it's actually worth taking a little time here to see if there's anything I can reasonably fish for. So if I play off the U, and A gives me Ruminate, F gives me nothing, L gives me nothing. I'm just looking through the M for now. M is nothing. N is also nothing. Yeah, I think... The, and the S would give me Unmiters, spelled two ways, and Terminus, neither of which fit. Okay. It gives me a lot of bingos, though. So it may still be good for cutting spread. What if I play, like, Ulu over here? Maybe there's something I can draw. Problem is, is it even going to be enough? I would need. I think I'd need to get something with the F for it to actually be enough points. So, like, what if I draw, like, F A? FL? No, that's a problem. What if I fish for Firmament? I can't do that, though. That would be a 9. Are there any sort of sneaky things I can do, like play Um or something like that? Maybe there's some triple triples I can get with an F? Firmenty? No. In Formate? That's not even good. Fulminate? Hmm. I feel like there's probably some sort of cool idea here. But maybe... Maybe there's just not. Yeah, I guess I probably should just fish off an O and... Or fish off a U, rather, and, and try to cut spread. I mean, I'm just not really seeing any viable way to get a triple-triple. I mean, even, I'm just thinking, if I triple-triple with the F, let's say, without the extra M, that'll be, what, 167? Yeah, I guess that could conceivably win. It's conceivable. I mean, maybe if I fish off, like, three tiles, there's some random thing I can draw. I guess I could draw filament. If I draw FAL and fish off UUR, can I even fish off UUR though? Probably not. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't think I can. Alright, yeah, let's just play off a of U. I'm not really seeing a viable way to get anything done. And alright, we didn't draw the tile we needed. Rudiment unmitered. Do I have anything now through this M-O? Probably not. On miter, on miter spelled both ways, and my neuter, none of those fit. Do I have anything through the A-N? Don't think so. So yeah, probably, I'm getting a bit low on time too. Doesn't matter too much, obviously, but it's always good to play a reasonable end game. I guess just memoir, and then go out next turn is probably fine. 
Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Oh, I wasn't even looking for where he might go out. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that was probably not not the best play on on my part. Yeah, he just goes out with with Solons. Uh, so yeah, five thirty eight to three fifty six. Pretty rough loss there. Uh, the end game was a little sloppy earlier on. I don't know. I mean, there were some really rough draws. I want to look at the verbal turn to see if I might have missed something better. But overall, I, I felt like the tiles just really got the best of us. But let's see. Um, oh, I guess I missed Owie here. Uh, that maybe is... That's probably worth it. Yeah, I don't know why. For some reason, I I didn't see Owie on this rack. I only saw where. But yeah, for 14 points, this is probably worth it. I mean, ER is still a better leave than AIR. But yeah, 14 is enough points, I think, to justify uh, justify playing this. So yeah, that's that's actually a mistake right out of the gate here. Um, Owie's got to be considerably better than uh, than exchanging. Now, he bingos... Yeah, I mean, Elvin, I saw it, but, I mean, I just, I felt that verbal was going to be better for uh, for the long term, just given that I have that uh, that chance at at drawing the, the O on my uh, on my next play and hopefully opening up the board even more. So I think, uh, I think that's probably still fine, and uh, it also does slow another E up here, which is, which is nice, and I give myself some more chances to open the board there. Also does create this verbals hook, which could be annoying to deal with in the long run. So I think there is a lot to be said for, for playing verbal. Elven is, is certainly reasonable too. I mean, BNR is a bit more sound of a leave than NN for sure. So I don't know. I mean, I think both are defensible here, but, uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe Elven, I, I guess it is a pretty big equity. Sacrifice, let's see, Verbal is 8.8 .8 versus Elven, 12 points. Okay, it's not that big an equ equity sacrifice. It's only like three and a half points, actually. So given that, probably Verbal is fine, just given I have the potential for for that 42-point extension next turn. And I, I do open up a few more lanes up there. So yeah, probably Verbal is, is okay here. Uh, he plays Yaoi, yeah, not much else other than Barney in in this case, uh, yeah, I saw Bran, but of course Barney is better to open up some some more. I, I guess, huh? I didn't actually look at the aspect of Harpy that keeps the uh, O draw again for for non, because I, I quickly dismissed Harpy just because it uh, keeps B and N. At this point, though, I mean he's pretty likely to play across from this H and block the spot anyway, and B and N is so bad. I mean. I also don't think I want my game plan here to be like going for this 42 point play and getting hung up, up hung up on it. I think on the first turn it was fine to kind of give myself that shot, but I'm down 80. I can't be just fishing for this 42 point play. So I think I need to be more proactive here and just play Barney and try to bingo through this A or this E with hopefully something high scoring in one of the next few turns. So yeah, Barney looks looks fine. Uh, he bingoes again. Yeah, Haven. I missed Vaheen. Uh, I mean, that's maybe a little bit better, but there's nothing wrong with Pavin either. I mean, EHT is, is the best leave by far out of any of those. It gives me great flexibility next turn. And also, uh, the H, especially with the TH together, gives me good potential to, to score if I do bingo. Since uh, I'm not only going to need to bingo, I'm going to need to score a lot while doing so at, at this kind of def deficit. Uh, Vaheen is extremely volatile, of course, opens up that S-hook, which maybe I do want at this point, just given how much I'm um, down. So, so yeah, that's probably reasonable as well. I mean, it's looking extremely bleak for me either way, but it does give me six extra points and this, this S-hook. There's still forces unseen, so I probably do need to take a big risk here and hope I can pick one up and that he... Uh, that he didn't get one. So yeah, Pavin probably, probably just a little bit too conservative at this point. So Vaheen probably a little bit a little bit better. Uh, yeah, wow, what a great rack for, for him here. He plays buys for 48, keeping the blank. Notable option would be Piazza, making the second blank a Z, which scores 72. Uh, definitely would not do it here. I mean, PY blank is extremely strong, as we saw on the next turn, and uh, 24 points doesn't seem like quite enough to justify spending both the Z and the blank like that. So yeah, I think his play looks good. This uh, crazy draw of JQX here on a four tile pool for us, really not much else to do other than Jihad. I mean, I can't exchange when I'm down this much. And like I said, my 
my plan was maybe I play Cot next turn for like 40 and then draw a big X play. I mean, it's going to be nothing short of a miracle that uh, I need to come back uh, at this point in the game. But any such hopes were pretty much completely quashed after Apyretic. Uh, yeah, not much else to do here other than Quag just uh, scoring and unloading the Q. He gets down quad, uh, and then, oh, I guess I missed I missed exit over here. I mean, at this point, I, I was just <laughs> kind of trying to be Q, because I feel like the game is, is completely over. So yeah, I should just play exit here and, and move on from from the X. Uh, Ice is Ice is a fun play to set up the the X, but it's uh, it's pretty clearly not not right. I mean, exit is uh, it's thirty immediately, whereas after Ice and X, I am scoring. I mean, I'm scoring fifty five instead of exit, and then giving myself better potential to hopefully score a lot more than twenty five next turn. Since if I score twenty five next turn, I'll basically be netting even after exit and my next play. Uh, whereas uh, ice and XI score 55. So, uh, so yeah, I think exit has got to be better just to give myself more flexibility for for the next turn and uh, and not sort of commit myself to catching the X in right there. Um, again, at this point, I'm down 220 points. Doesn't really matter, but exit is, uh, is probably slightly preferable for spread. But, uh, okay, so he plays wart. Uh, I cash in my X as planned. He just plays leg over here, taking out the uh, the paving hook. I do get down Dictiest, uh, and then who? And uh, I proceed to let's see. I missed Phantom for oh, that's a nice play. Yeah, I don't think I was ever really looking at this spot. I mean, uh, honestly, Flam is probably better for win percentage. Like I'm gonna need a triple triple at this point since one bingo being down 150 is is never winning. So after Phantom, I mean, I, I never actually win the game. It's probably a bit better for. For spread, but uh, but yeah, flam at least gives myself some free chances. Maybe add uh, a triple triple through the M if he doesn't block. So I th I think flam is probably fine. I should have seen phantom. I, I seem to be blind to that spot several turns in a row for for some reason, which isn't great. But yeah, I mean flam at this point in the game is is quite reasonable anyway. Uh, he goes here with the uh, with soiree just taking out that spot, and, and yeah, I mean, here, there really just isn't anything to do. Like I said, I'm going to need to triple-triple with the F to have any chance, and uh, realistically, there just isn't a, a good way to, to fish for anything there. Of course, against the human, I wouldn't even be thinking about it, because I know they're going to block every single time. But I know with Hasty Bot, there's a chance he leaves it open, so it's worth considering, but there really just isn't much to be done. So I think up is, is good here. goes for one of the O's for... Uh, oh, I actually, I blocked Jointure on this play. Wow, that was silly. I was actually going for Jointure, and I didn't realize, I, th I thought Jointure ended here. Yeah, no, this is a terrible play. I should, uh, I should just play Do. Um, yeah, okay. That was, that completely defeats the purpose of, of that play. Yikes. Yeah, no, I was sort of going for Jointure, and I, I literally blocked it with, with my fish. So, very lazy, this game. Um, very lazy. Yeah, again, it's not going to matter. I mean, I'm not going to win the game either way, but it's a good way for me to cut some spread. So, uh, so yeah, just a reminder, whenever you're fishing for something, make sure it's uh, it's actually open. Because, yeah, after after up, I no longer have jointure. It would make EUP. So, yeah, if I'm going to fish for that, I should absolutely be playing uh, do down here on the left. Uh, but in any case, I didn't end up drawing it anyway. Uh, I should have gone, gone here. I just uh, I got very fixated on this M, I think, since I was... Looking at it earlier, and uh, and yeah, at this point, I mean, I'm I'm very low on time. Obviously, it doesn't really matter, um, but I should at least see that he's uh, threatening to go out over here and take care of that spot. So a pretty bad loss, five thirty eight to three fifty six. Didn't really play well this game at all. I mean, not playing Owie on the opening turn was uh, was pretty careless. That's uh, that's a sizable mistake for sure. And then, I mean, later on, I there were some imprecisions, like I think Pavin instead of Vaheen, uh, of course, the U-Fish at the end, the end game. At that point, it didn't really matter for, for win percentage, but I, sh I should still be doing better than that. I mean, the tournament spread matters, and I should try to at least, even though I'm not really keeping track of spread too closely here, I mean, I should still at least try to reflect that and, and do a little bit better than I did. So a bit of a disappointing performance this game, but... Uh, 
yeah, I mean, I think it, it was going to be pretty tricky, if not impossible, to, to win, but I should have at least put up a better fight. But, okay, uh, good game to, to the bot. He made some some nice plays there, scored, just kept scoring too much for me to uh, overcome. And uh, with that, we uh, we now are going to be 29 and 13 through 42 games, so still very much in the driver's seat in the series. And hopefully in game 43, we can uh, rebound from this and put on a better showing. So I uh, will sign up for now and hope to see many of you guys in game 43. Have a good one. Bye-bye.